What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode in Gage's Garage and in today's video we are finally getting these tires and hopefully getting them on the frame. Now I also have to get the axle that goes through this and I'm also going to have to do some adjusting on this rear tire because I don't know how well it's going to line up if there's going to be enough space with the new sprocket and the new brake disc or the brake that goes in here. So I don't know how well it's going to fit but I'm trying to get this done by the 20th for this car show. So hopefully I can get that done, but I don't know for sure because I might have to do some uh, things to this to fix it. So yeah, just stay tuned and enjoy the video. thing in here whatever this is called or a drum brake but now that i got the drum brake in here and the sprocket all i need to do is drill this hole out a little bit bigger this is only going to be a temporary situation i'm actually going to cut this and make a notch going this way instead of up and down because i don't know why i did that. that was a terrible idea i should have done it going horizontally compared to vertically so i'm going to drill this hole just for temporary use right now and then same thing on both sides so i'm going to fit that bolt through there and yeah we'll just get right into it All right, I stopped recording real quick just to get that cut because it's real tedious and takes a little while and nobody really wants to watch that. So just got to check this or just got to level this uh, bolt and see if she's all right where she's at. Nice and level now.
All right, everybody, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. We got, we didn't get a whole lot done in this video, and I apologize for that. It's just, I don't know, it's been, it's felt harder to keep up with these videos recently, but I'm going to get back on the grind and keep it more consistently than it has been now that these trips are over and everything. So, yeah, stay tuned for more, more, it's going to be hopefully better videos and better quality camera editing, stuff like that. And stay tuned for this next Dune Buggy project, and I might be getting a new engine for it, like a different than the 600cc two-stroke that I wanted. I might be getting a new one, but I'm not going to say what yet because I'm not 100% positive. So, yeah, but thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button. It's really going to help me out. And subscribe and share with others.